no matter where his match is on the card, whenever John Cena's in the ring, it possesses a big fight main event feel. It's just another reason why Cena's known as the franchise. Well, we can all talk until we're blue in the face, but the only thing that matters is what happens inside the ropes. Come on, enough preliminaries. But we all know that anytime John Cena is in the ring, there's a war about to take place. There's another huge shot. It's been a wild ride for Dean Ambrose, but that title reign may very well come to an end here tonight. What can we expect from him in this championship match? Take it from me, it's not easy to defend the gold night in and night out, but somehow the champ does it with great. Or by cheating in your case. Well, man, this roster of today is stacked with talent the WWE has not seen in quite some time. You know, it's remarkable. When John Cena has his adversary incapacitated, there's always the very real possibility that he will go to the submission hole that he has developed into his trademark, the STF. Oh, yeah. Cena doesn't miss many chances to lock that hold in, does he? Oh, a face buster! And the knuckles connect. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Oh, did you see the head whip back? And when John Cena is able to lock in that STF hold that we were talking about, the result is pretty predictable. Very few of his foes are able to escape it. Right. Cena has a lot of championship matches on his resume, and so many of them have ended on a tap out after John's applied the STF. You know, a few of those contests come to mind, Michael. Cena used the STF to force Mark Henry to tap out at Money in the Bank in 2013. That was for the WWE Championship. And Cena finished Chris Jericho with it at Armageddon in 08 for the heavyweight title. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Just goes to show you, nobody's immune to the effects of John Cena's STF. You know, when we talk about John Cena, there is no other performer that I can think of in WWE where there is just no middle ground when it comes to how the fans feel about him. I mean, it is either love him or hate him relationship between John Cena and all of these people in the stands. Well, I've never seen him do that before. I'm not sure I can watch this. Ooh, spine jarring. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. I don't want to know what that feels like. Yeah, well, I've felt it before, and you're right, you don't want to know. We started talking about John Cena and the way the WWE fans respond to him. Whether it's positive or negative, the response Cena triggers in the stands is second to none in terms of sheer noise. And really, that's all a performer can strive for. To be a number one draw, John Cena has definitely achieved that. What does John Cena have to do at this point to stay in the match? The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. Look at him, Michael. It's almost as if the guy is scared to get... And again, to the neck of Cena. This is relentless. And don't forget, Michael, Cena has sustained a career-threatening neck injury of his own. One has to wonder if this... This could be over soon! The STF! Championship. Watch it! And he powers out. To the kisser. It looks like we're good, Lord. Did you see that? Oh, man, Michael. That was some shot. Cena's got to be in bad shape now. One hole. Some reversal by John Cena. Could this be it? 
I think so. Two, three. John Cena, we have a winner and a new champion, John Cena. Here are your winners and new Grand Prix Champion, John Cena! We have a new champion. Unbelievable. And on top of that, there's a new champion in the W.